final question is, uh, how do you put experience from your own company in a resume? Um, oh, like if you own a business, yeah, absolutely. Just put it. If you have a legitimate LLC, then put the name of the company. You can call yourself founder, principal, um, managing direct, whatever you want to call yourself. I want, uh, in many cases, like if you're a solopreneur, I wouldn't exactly use the title CEO unless you're going for a CEO role, have something that's more related. So right now I'm working with a solutions architect who has been doing his own thing for the past four years on his title. It's principal solutions architect. And in the overarching scope, um, you know, built a thriving consultancy practice from the ground up, um, and um, serving X, Y, and Z type of clients. And then in, um, in the bullet points, it's, uh, you know, supported a um, a gaming app, developing a blah, 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 blah. And, and then like it explains some of the projects. So you can get really creative with that. Um, I actually did a, a LinkedIn live that you can catch the recording of on my channel where I talked to somebody about how to do that if you have a successful business and if your business idea failed. And so if that's the case, there's like different strategies for it. So you can definitely check that out. Like if you really want to get into the weeds of how to position yourself.